So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then this tray section will lift up to reveal a space saver spare wheel. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle at the bottom, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 9,083. You can change information displayed above that using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer information or that digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. There are other options as well from satellite navigation to tire pressure and then user settings. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left hand side we have stereo controls and phone controls including voice activation. So if you hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list. It'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you pair the phone up and that is done over on the touch screen here. Uh, you'll see uh, also we've got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows exactly how this works that you can find both on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. If you hit radio, you'll get back to where the uh, radio station and bands available are. So uh, DAB, FM and AM are your available bands. If you listen to your own music, hit media. Nothing's connected at the moment, but you can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. And if we pop the car into reverse, you'll see we have not only reversing sensors, but a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be redirected uh, within the car. That button turns the air conditioning off or back on again. Or if you hit auto, the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. So override that, simply readjust the fans to whatever level you want them on and put it back on whatever setting you want it on here. We've also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings on each. Under that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets, auxiliary and USB inputs, and this pad will charge your phone wirelessly. So if your phone is able to charge wirelessly, pop it on that pad and it will start to charge. We then have a six speed manual gearbox. And finally, these buttons down here. So this one turns on and off the parking sensors. This one turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. I've just turned that system off. And these two, I'll show you up on here. So one of them, turns downhill brake control on and off. The other puts the steering mode into normal and sport. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.